The song in this video is one I composed myself. Its title is Saltare Com Umbra, or To Dance With Shadows. This is a short version of my eight-minute composition. It is also the one I performed in Carnegie Hall, New York, back in 2017. The song illustrates the life of a teenage girl struggling to be part of society and to fulfill the standards of her peers. I have been composing and learning piano since I was six. And it has almost been 11 years since. Now, let me tell you how music helps me in my academic career and also my personal life. My brother, who is four years older than me, has been your stereotypical straight A Asian boy. Not only that, he is brilliant in math, physics, and even chemistry. However, I might not be the case. Although I'm not as brilliant as he is, I'm always the better one at making decisions. However, regarding the needs for calculations, I would sometimes face obstacles. It would take me quite a long time to completely understand a topic. But my brother, he did it effortlessly. Because of this, I was always devastated and an inch away from giving up. But my life changed completely after I started playing piano. I became more intelligent, and my academic performance was better than ever. Furthermore, for mathematical concepts that would normally take me two classes to understand, after playing piano, I can understand it more effortlessly. This seemingly insignificant improvement eventually led to the increase of my critical thinking and decision-making ability. Now, most of you might wonder how music can relate to an individual's critical thinking and decision-making ability. Do people suddenly become wiser after they listen to a song? Or does music act like antibiotics, which attacks the bacteria impeding our critical thinking and decision-making cells? The answer is no. The answer lies on human's brain mechanism. Next, let us take a look at this simple diagram of a human's brain. For simplicity, we will assume that the brain only consists of two parts, the left and the right. As we all know, the left side of the brain is responsible for doing tasks that requires computational and analytical skills. It depends heavily on logical facts and reasonings. On the other hand, the right side of the brain is responsible for making you not boring. It depends heavily on imagination and intuition and is responsible for creative thinking. Now, only one side of the brain for most people will be more dominant for them. This means that most people's critical thinking and decision-making ability will only rely on one side of the brain, either the left with its logical facts and reasonings, or the right with its imagination and creativity. To be a great decision maker and critical thinker, we must be both logical and intuitional. The reason is because not everything that is logical might necessarily be true and superior. Similar to that, not everything that is intuitional might necessarily be false and inferior. The role of music here is to balance out the function of each side of the brain. Hence, 
utilizing logical and intuitional reasonings in formulating thoughts and decisions. When playing music, the brain functions as a whole unit, not individually. This means that the left and right side of the brain are working at the same time. With this scenario going on, it is most likely for the area controlling creativity and analytical skills to be stimulated and experience increased performance. As a result, playing music can support our critical thinking. In fact, researchers from universities of California system claim that if people play music, they will have a higher developed memory system and adaptability. Take me as an example. I used to depend solely on memorized formulas to solve every mathematical problem there is. After musically engaged, my mathematical skills improved significantly. Now, I can easily come up with other solutions to solve a problem, even though I had only encountered it once. Another example, Albert Einstein known as the world's greatest scientist, was in fact also a pianist and a violinist. He had played and loved music since young and would often listen to classical pieces by Mozart as a way to brainstorm and to think about his theories. In addition to that, he also mentioned that listening to music can calm and relax his soul. These examples alone have proven that music not only increases our creativity, but it also supports our critical thinking. This is because music helps people to acquire a habit. A habit of always observing problems from various angles and not only from one. Other than that, music helps us trains our resistance and patience. By doing so, music can help us improve our decision-making skills. One way how music does all this is when musicians are required to learn how to read notes. Notes are symbols in music needed in order to play a song. Reading these notes are not as easy as you think. It requires a series of combined skills that need years and years to practice and perfect. These skills include the ability to be able to differentiate tempos, to recognize various notes, and also take into account decorative symbols we know as ornaments. I have competed in lots and lots of competitions and not in every one of it, I became the winner. Even though I had put so much effort and time in practicing for the competitions, sometimes I too must admit loss and defeat. From all these experiences, I learned that not everything can always go as smoothly as I planned and imagined. At times, when life had it tough, I must be strong and patient enough to face all hardships. I had never realized it, but this kind of mindset had been implanted in me and affected my daily and personal life. I become a more patient person, and I can preserve composure in doing anything. This is all thanks to music. On this great occasion, I would like to introduce MusicToHelp.com to all of you. This is an organization and a website I created myself. Three years ago, I visited a local orphanage. There, I met a group of preschoolers playing music together with limited instruments. Still, they play with so much joy and fun. 
I felt moved by their passion in music. That is when I decided to create musictohelp.com. This is an organization that functions to collect musical instruments and raise funds. It also serves as a platform to distribute free musical education for those in need. These are some of my pictures from my latest events. I visited a local orphanage in Medan. There, I donated some musical instruments and performed with the children happily. That will be all. Thank you.